This is a short little GIMP tutorial on heel transparency and heel selection. Uh, now what these tools do is you can see this picture. This is a picture I took in Thailand, just one of the beaches there and got these guys doing, you know, just doing their thing. Uh, I don't really care to have this in the picture. This, uh, you know, it'd be nice to have everyone taken out of and you know a lot of times when you're on vacations or taking landscape shots you want to take the people out and sometimes it's just not possible and so these tools are very useful uh, to, to get rid of elements like this you know you could use your clone tool and try to manually take them out or, or something like that but this is a lot faster and easier so what you'll want to do is go to filters enhance and you'll see you have hill selection here and then hill transparency under this and this is grayed out uh, basically because there's no alpha channel on the image I'll talk a little bit about this later but let's go ahead and go to well we don't have a selection yet so we'll first have to create a selection so I'll use this tool and uh, first I'll get rid of these guys and then go to filters enhance and heal selection and by default the content sampling width will be 50 pixels we'll just go ahead and leave it as that and press ok and you can see uh, it gets rid of these guys I'm just gonna press control shift A to get rid of the selection so you can see it a little bit better we've got a few more elements that I'll go ahead and get rid of uh, like these legs here so I'll do the same thing and here we can just repeat the process repeat hill selection and that is gone and we'll do the same thing here um, I'm going to go ahead and re-show hill selection so I can talk a little bit about this um, the pixels basically what it's doing 50 is it's it'll go up 50 pixels around where your selection is and look for content and then it will use that content to add in here uh, 50 is a good default so we'll leave it at that and the sample form is all around so obviously that's all around the selection um, you could do the sides left and right or above and below but I find for most things just doing all around is fine and we'll go ahead and press OK and get rid of that so that's a quick and easy way to get rid of unwanted elements in your photo. I want to show a little bit more. Um, I'll use this picture I took of a, I guess a pier. Um, there's some concrete here and uh, concrete here. So I'll go ahead and, and get rid of these real quick. I don't care to have them in the picture. So I'll just repeat the process again. Does a good job do the same thing here uh, it's a bit darker but uh, should be okay we'll see what it does uh, control shift a get rid of the selection okay it's pretty cool I like that um, and yeah I don't really care to have these branches in here we'll just leave it at sky so let me go ahead and I will you know go around select the sky you can try to do a in and out. You want to do a selection as close to what you're getting rid of as possible but I'm just being lazy and it'll probably do a good job anyway. Uh, this tool seems to do really well with things like the sky. Uh, so we'll see how it does. And we'll repeat. Uh, it's probably going to take a little bit longer because the selection is so big. But again it's going to go out 50 pixels and, and see what's there. So it's going to look at all this content, see what's common, and then it will s decide to fill in with all this content. And we should end up having just kind of a, a gradient for this guy. Um, and that's great. That's perfect. So control shift A. And yeah, so we've got it. <coughs> so that's, that's nice. I got rid of the branches, got rid of the concrete, um, kind of how I want it. Um, and then we'll, we'll say I, I want to I want to crop it but I don't want to cut the top or bottom off 
but I wish it was a little bit longer and then I could crop it maybe so this was in the corner. We're, we're just going to do something so I can uh, show you the next tool, which would be the Hill Transparency. And again, this is grayed out. So what we want to do now is we'll go here, right click on this, and we'll go Add Alpha Channel. And now when we go, we can do it. So what we'll want to do is uh, that's going to take any part of the image that has no content. Basically, the pixels are gone. For example, if we use this erase tool, and I'll show you with a gradient to show you what does not work, um, we'll just erase a hole in the sky. So, well, yeah, and we'll do it in the ocean too, just for fun. So we've got these two. And we'll say we accidentally erase those, save the image, and and now we want to fill it back in. So we will go use the heal transparency. Um, the default's 50. It was at 150 because of what I did before, but we'll go ahead and press OK, and it will fill those in. Um, so did a uh, better job on the sky than um, the ocean. But one thing I wanted to show, um, if you use a brush with a gradient, sometimes it might leave a little halo. Uh, I don't know if you could see it that well. Um, but we'll try. Oh, there you go. So you, you see the halo right here where the, the gradient was. Um, so, you know, it's not going to work so well for that. But if you use something that has no gradient, then we go ahead and do that no halo so that's pretty good but this really isn't all that useful what it is useful for is making this image larger and expanding the content so I'm gonna go ahead and go to image canvas size and I want to make it uh, we'll say I just want to make it longer so I'll make it yeah we'll add a little bit more just for fun and we'll center the image and resize now if I was to go back and do it it, it won't do anything um, you can see it's got this yellow dotted line going across this is the the layer boundary so it still thinks that this is all there is to the image and you could go here and go layer to image size but that adds white and we don't want white because it's still not going to do anything um, you can see it's grayed out we can't do anything so one trick I like to do is just I will add a transparency layer click OK move this above and then you can just flatten the image or merge the visible layers so once I do that now we can go ahead and do it so now if I go repeat heal transparency uh, and this this might take a while because you can see the selected content it selected all of this and all of this and it's basically from this area it's going to go up 50 pixels so whatever that is probably up to about here or so and we'll look at this content it's basically just going to copy it and there we go so now we have a much longer image and at this point, you know, we can do whatever we want to, uh, um, you know, edit the image. We could make it even longer, uh, make it look like it's a big, long beach with just a single pier. You could do, just try out other filters in the GIMP. Um, basically, whatever you want to do. Uh, I have nothing in mind. So I think that will probably go ahead and end this tutorial. Um, before this, these tools were called the resynthesize plugin, um, but I think in the newer version of GIMP this no longer works. So that's why you're doing it that way. Anyhow, I'm talking too much. So see ya.